Mayuram Vishwanatha Shastri was born on 27th November 1893 to Sri Ramaswami Ganapatihal and Palamba Lakshmi. He was born in Terayandur near Mayuram and was the second of six children. As was the custom, he was initiated into Sanskrit studies in his early years and studied in a Sanskrit college at Kalyan Mahal near Tiruvayar. At the same time, He also underwent the Veda Adhyayana for almost three years. This greatly helped him attain proficiency in Vedas and the Sanskrit language. He later became a student at the municipal high school in Mayuram. This was to fulfill his quest for English education. But it was his interest for Carnatic music from a very early age that took more of his time it is said that he got his taste for music from his mother his natural high pitched voice attracted the attention of local vidwans who recognized his musical talent he trained under well known stalwarts like dasavadim venkatrama ayyengar namakkal narsimha ayyengar and shri sundaram ayyer It was in 1929 when the Madras Music Academy had conducted a Kriti competition that Sri Mayuram Vishwanath Shastri got his breakthrough. The competitors had to submit compositions in Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada or Sanskrit only. Nine competitors submitted 20 songs of which three of the compositions were in Sanskrit. Of these three Two of Mayuram Vishwanath Shastri's compositions were the only songs to be selected for the top spot. A committee of three judges, Tiger Vardha Chariyar, T. L. Venkat Rama Ayer, and Jalat Rangam Ramaya Chettiyar, adjudged his Sanskrit kriti, Kamite, Karuna Nivite, in praise of Bharat Mata in Thodi Raga as the best of the two. With this win his talents were recognized even more and he was awarded a prize amount of rupees 100 a princely sum in those days and was also felicitated at a public function by musicians and music lovers this proved to be just the perfect motivation for him to compose more songs most of his early compositions were in tamil and dedicated to lord subramanya In 1933 Swami Balananda Saraswati of Kadir Kamam in Sri Lanka which was called Silon in those days became highly impressed with the devotional character of his songs and helped him publish the book Murugan Pugal Pamale which contains songs in praise of Lord Subramanya Swami Balananda Saraswati is also said to have given him the title of Kantam based on the song Kantamam Kadir Kamam Tanil Or Vedantamam In praise of Lord Subramanya in Kadir Kamam he composed the song with utmost articulation and with every detail to perfection without ever having visited the place it is said that all his inspiration to compose this song came from a vision he had in his dreams about his favorite lord and Kadir Kamam
காந்தமாம் கதிர் காமம் தன்னில் ஓர் வேதாந்தம் 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 சாந்தமாகி மனம் குவிந்து He published a booklet of songs in Tamil for Independence Day called Desi Jaya Geetam in 1947. This included songs on Kaddar, Gandhi Ji, Flag Salutation and so on. It was in 1948 that he published a booklet of 18 songs in Sanskrit, The Bharat Bhajan, containing songs on Bharat Mata and Mahatma Gandhi. He ensured that the songs were in simple flowing language and set in well-known Hindustani ragas like Behag, Bimpalas, Bilawal, Mand and Desh to ensure they could be sung all over our country. He also composed four songs in called as Bharata Jai Geetam exclusively to meet the requirements of our national anthem. Jayati Jayati Bharata Mata Sudha Geeta Jayati Jayati Bharata Mata Sudha Geeta Jayati Jayati Bharata Mata Sudha Geeta Apart from being a composer, he was also the first person to set the Thirukkural verses to music. Thirukkural Madhura Kirtanai was the first volume out of the planned seven volumes and it contained the Aratha Pal in 41 songs with notation. This was the only volume that was published during his lifetime. Later on, the second volume was published by his younger brother, Shri T.R. Vaidishwaran in 1987. Other volumes of this series are still in manuscripts. Shri Mahiram Vishwanath Shastri was a dramatist as well. He has written a few novels and plays of which Bhakta Jaydeva and Chitra Kamini were staged. The other plays he wrote were Karai Kal Ammayar, Virata Parvam, Shant Kumari, Mitra Vijayam etc. There are still a lot of these hidden gems that are unpublished but are available written in his neat handwriting in the most meticulous way. Shri Mayuram Vishwanatha Shastri was also adept in the art of drawing. Before he started to compose any song for a dance, he used to make an in-depth study into the art and science of dance and prepared his own handbook with details of various mudras. Each of these mudras were hand drawn by him and seen here are just a few samples. Among his publications are Valli Parine Mani Pravala Satakam in 1926 Murugan Pugai Pamalai in 1933 Vedapuri Kirtana series 1 in 
Murugan Madhur Kirtanai in 1940, Bharat Bhajan in 1948, and Thirukural Madhur Kirtanai in 1958. Shri Shastri left for the heavenly abode on the last day of December 1958 which was also a Shashti day the day of his Ishtadaivam Lord Subramanya mm-hmm. 